We're looking at David's 1979 three quarter ton Silverado. That's right, this is my own truck. And it needs a couple of things on it. One of the problems I have is when I'm driving down the road, the door's just rattling on me. And it's driving me crazy. If you have a square body truck, you might have the same problem with that. There's a couple of different things that might cause that. Stay tuned, we'll find out what. All right, so now the reason it could be rattling like that, you could have a bad uh, latch right here. You could have a bad striker plate, your rubber could be old and tired and worn out, or you could have a combination of all three. Now, this rubber right here, it's pretty old and it's pretty tired, but it's not that bad. So more than likely, this isn't my problem. My latch is looking pretty good, but if we take a look at a, old, a new striker plate versus the old striker plate, can you see the difference of what's going on there? At first, face value, it really doesn't look like they're all that much difference. But if you notice this one here versus this one, this has this little plastic ring on it right here. This one's all broken off. And this plastic ring, it just makes the door shut a little easier, the latch lasts a little bit longer, and it keeps things a little bit quieter. Um, and the plastic just gets old and tired, it breaks off. Really common thing on all your square body trucks. So all we're going to do is just replace that. Now it seems like it'd just be a simple little replacement, unscrew it, screw it back in. And that's basically true, but there's a couple of little things that you got to um, keep track of or be aware of. The first thing is, is that on our truck, we're pretty lucky because this was painted and when it was, it left a ring for where uh, these washers were. And so when we put this back together, it's gonna be really easy for us to put it back together. But I'm gonna show you um, how to put it back together and line up your door if you don't have those markings. So stay tuned for that. Now this right here, this is a Torx uh, head on this and um, that's what that looks like. But the new ones, they have an Allen wrench in there. So you have to make sure that you have both. And over the years and, and different manufacturing places, you'd either get the Torx or the Allen wrench. So just be prepared for both. Now on this particular one here, this had a couple of extra washers on it. One washer won't come off at all, but the other two will. And you might have two or three on there. And that's just to shim it so that it's hitting in the right spot on the latch. More than likely, it's gonna be correct. So I'm gonna install the new one with the same amount of washers, but we'll be shutting the door slowly and making sure that everything's copacetic before we uh, final everything. Now that I have this off, I wanna show you, this is the nut, if you will. This is on the inside of the door B pillar. And this is what this is bolting to. And you can see it really sandwiches down um, to give you a really firm grasp on there because this does take a lot of punishment. So all I gotta do is take this, put it behind my B pillar here, screw this in, and um, just line it up to the holes, or the ring that was already on there, and tighten it up. And then we'll shut the door and see how she's looking. All right, let's shut the door and see what we got. So it's lining up really nice, not getting any more noise. Um, now, like I said, we got lucky because we had the existing holes on there. But let's say, for instance, uh, you don't have those, you painted your truck or whatever, and you're starting from scratch. So if you were lining up your door from scratch, the, what I recommend is to not put your rubber in first because it can kind of um, push the door into a position that you don't want. So no rubber in there. And then we can go ahead and put our striker on. Uh, well, actually, I should say, before you even mess with your striker, make Make sure that your doors all lined up and everything okay you have to make sure that you're perfect here and you're perfect here you don't want to use your striker as a um, as a compensation for the door not lining up correctly so if the door sagged and then every time you shut it it pulled it up that's going to wear out the striker and everything else so get it in the right position first then you put in your striker and then you just simply shut the door and see if it um, 
encouraged it to come up? Did it encourage it to go down? Is it out too far? Is it in too far? What you should happen is there should be two clicks when you do this. So there's one, two clicks, okay? So if you shut this and you only get one click, then that means that that striker is not in the right position. So we go like this, we get one, two, and we know we're set. So it'll just take you a few times. You just have to um, work with it a little bit and um, get it in the right position, but you can do it. I got confidence in you. We are gonna get your truck back on the road come hell or high water. My name is David Welch. You make sure you check us out on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you don't, your doors are gonna rattle, man.